क्लास टेन केमिस्ट्री चैप्टर वन केमिकल रिएक्शंस एंड इक्वेशंस नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल स्टार्ट विद द डिफरेंस बिटवीन फिजिकल एंड केमिकल चेंज सो लेट अस फर्स्ट सी सम ऑफ द डे टू डे एग्जांपल्स ऑफ फिजिकल चेंज इफ यू टेक ए पेपर एंड टेयर इट इन टू पीसेस from here it form two pieces and if you further tear it it becomes four pieces now what do you observe is there any change in the paper the all the four pieces of paper are the paper itself there is no change if we use glue we can get back the paper again so this is a physical change now by chance if a glass plate breaks it falls on the ground and breaks it may break into two pieces there is no change in the two pieces of the glass plate the two pieces of the glass plate remain the same only the shape has changed if you take water water is a liquid if you keep it in fridge it may solidify it may turn into ice water is a liquid ice is a solid but it is water only if ice is melted it will change into water so in all these changes what do you find that the substance has not changed substance remains the same only the shape has changed or the physical state has changed as in this particular case the liquid has changed into solid otherwise a new substance has not been formed so these are all the examples of physical change so now we can define physical change physical change is a temporary change in which only size shape or physical state of the substance changes no new substance is formed it can be reversed back also by changing the physical conditions we can in the case of glass plate also we can use the glue to paste the two pieces of the glass plate and same way here also the change can be reversed back ice can be converted back to water now let us discuss some more changes related to everyday life if milk is taken out of refrigerator and kept at room temperature in summers the whole day the milk is kept outside what will happen what do you find you will find that the milk has curdled the state has changed physical state has changed and a new substance has been formed same way if you take some iron nails from the market you buy it you will find them very shiny and if you keep these iron nails in the humid atmosphere or moist atmosphere what does it mean atmosphere having water vapors after some times some days you may find that some brown colored substance has deposited on the iron nails i think you know it what is this brown colored substance it is iron rust iron nail has rusted some new substance has been formed on the surface of the iron nail all of you breathe that's a very common uh, practice without breathing we cannot survive now during breathing you know oxygen is taken in and carbon dioxide is given out a change has occurred a new substance has been formed and in this particular case of course energy is liberated so all these changes cannot be reversed back we cannot get milk from curdled milk we cannot get it back it cannot be reversed back by changing any of the conditions physical conditions 
also this iron rust cannot be converted back to iron and also carbon dioxide cannot be converted back to oxygen just by changing the physical conditions like temperature like pressure we cannot change we cannot get back oxygen again so all these are the examples of chemical change and now we can define what is a chemical change chemical change is a permanent change in which the physical state as well as the chemical composition of the substance changes even the color may change it cannot be reversed back by changing the physical conditions like temperature or pressure also heat may either be evolved or absorbed chemical reaction let us discuss certain activity to be performed in the chemistry lab let us take first of all magnesium ribbon which is gray in color now magnesium is very reactive it reacts with the air and combines with the oxygen and carbon dioxide present in air and forms magnesium hydroxide and magnesium carbonate so it has to be rubbed off so this magnesium ribbon first of all should be rubbed with sandpaper to remove these compounds and after rubbing hold it with the help of a tong and bring it near the flame to burn it you will find that it burns with a dazzling white flame a gas evolves and it forms all this gray magnesium ribbon changes into white powder a change has occurred the physical state has changed a new substance has formed chemical change has occurred then whenever whenever a chemical change occurs the process which takes place is called chemical reaction so a chemical reaction has taken place a chemical change has occurred and chemical reaction has taken place let us now consider another activity to be performed in the lab take it as tube and put some zinc pieces in it and now add some amount of dilute hydrochloric acid now on adding dilute hydrochloric acid what will you observe you will observe that certain gas evolves right now which is this gas which is evolved after adding dilute hydrochloric acid and zinc pieces you will be very curious to know how to test the presence of this gas by bringing a burning matchstick near the mouth of the test tube the gas burns with a pop sound a sound is produced which proves that the gas evolved is hydrogen gas gas evolved is hydrogen gas so this is a chemical reaction again chemical change has occurred new substance has been formed zinc reacts with dilute hydrochloric acid and forms hydrogen gas so the, a chemical reaction has occurred now let us see what are the changes which occur during a chemical reaction a new substance has been formed in both the cases here a new substance has been formed here also a new substance has been formed the physical state of the substance has changed the color of the substance also may change a gas may be evolved as in this particular case a gas has been evolved also heat may either be evolved or absorbed and we cannot get back the original substance in any case by changing the physical conditions the new substance cannot be changed back to original substance by changing the temperature or pressure or anything also there may be a change in the temperature